hello viewers uh, welcome again to my youtube channel so in this video we are discussing uh, with the concept of uh, multidimensional data model and data cubes what are the data cubes and uh, what are the basic features of data cube we will discuss one by one so let's start with the ppt so first question is what is multidimensional data model and how it works actually multidimensional data model store data in the form of data cube mostly data warehousing support two or three dimensional cubes so a data cube actually allow data to be viewed in multi multiple dimensions a dimensions are entities with respect to which an organization wants to keep records uh, let's say example in store sales record dimensions that allow the store to keep track of things like monthly sales of items and the branches and locations so we have to know that a data cube actually enables data to be modeled and it view in multiple di dimensions if we are talking about any organization data so a multi -dim multi dimensional database help to provide data related answer to complex business queries quickly and accurately so multi dimensional data model is defined through the dimension and facts and multi dimensional data model it's also uh, perspectives or entities concerning which an organization keeps records so data warehouse and uh, online analytical processing tools are based on a multi dimensional data model at olap is a in data warehousing enables users to view data from different angles and dimensions so for example a shop may create a sales data warehouse to keep record of store sales for the dimensions time items and locations so actually sales department will declare the dimension including times items and their locations and they will send to directly to the particular department so these dimensions will allow the save to keep track of things it means all dimensions uh, can be allow with the uh, saving options and we will proceed to the further next level to the next level another points are a multi dimensional data model is organized around a central theme and for example sales again uh, this theme is represented uh, by a fact and tables and facts are numeric measures and the fact table it contains the name of the facts or it measures of the related dimension tables so this is the representation of fact tables and multi dimensional representation a multi dimensional data model actually around a certain central themes i am saying again so we can uh, easily analyze the 2d representation of the data and the sales for delhi are shown for the time dimensions that is organized in quarters we will discuss in next uh, slide so in next slide and uh, the these are the attributes that is pid and time id loc id and sales these are the four attributes and we are converting into the dimension uh, dimension times or dimension slides and we can easily analyze the data into the multi dimensional model so we are just considering the data of a shop for item that sold per quarter in the city of delhi and the data is shown in the table as we can see in previous table or the next table so this is the actual representation of 2d right the uh, fact and measures actually displayed in the rupees sold so the location will be delhi time time quarters is categorized from q1 to q4 and these are the four entities in terms of dimension time that is egg milk bread and biscuit and in the bottom section these are the actual entities yeah these are the actual database we are just entering for just a sample so now if we want to view the sales data with a third party dimension so we can Uh, we can assume that uh, suppose the data recording to the time and items as well as the location a uh, location should be considered for the city chennai calcutta mumbai and delhi and in the in further slide we also uh, declared 
these locations into the different different pattern like location Chennai, location Calcutta, location Mumbai and location Delhi and I'm just elaborating the tables from 2D to 3D so this is the 3D data in terms of table and I just converted the table into the cubic form as you can see as you can as you as you can analyze all the things so conceptually it may also be represented by the same data in the form of 3D data cube so when we discuss about the element of dimensional data model so the these are the fa uh, actual data models like you talk about fact facts are the measurement matrix or facts from your business process for a sales business process a measurement would be quarterly sales numbers so at the first element will be fact second is dimension dimension actually provide the context surrounding a business process event in simple in simple term they give who what where or of of a fact we are talking about fact and dimensions and uh, the another one is attributes attribute is also a characteristics of dimension if we assume this type of uh, data cube so we can assume the multiple elements like fact dimension attributes and other things and this is our fact table we can we can uh, consider it as a fact table actually uh, fact table is a primary table in a dimension model so fact table contains measurement that is fact and foreign key to dimension model so this is the fact table and this is the data queue in terms of 3d uh, next question is what is data cube a data cube refers is a three-dimensional or it can be higher range of a values that are generally used to explain the time sequence of an image data it is a data abstraction to evaluate aggregated data from a variety of viewpoints. It is also useful for imaging uh, spectroscopy as a spectrally resolved image is uh, despected as a 3D volume. A data cube can also be described as a multidimensional extension of two dimensional tables. So we are just talking about the group data is actually data cube is actually data is group or combined that is known as a data cube data cube sometimes generally sometimes uh, used to easily interpret data it is especially useful when representing data together so we are talking about grouping and combining so another in another terms we can say that the data should be uh, merged data should be uh, data should be together with dimension as a certain measure of business requirements a cubes every dimension represents certain characteristic of the database for example daily monthly or yearly sales the data included inside a data cube it makes it possible analyze almost all the figures for virtually any or all customer sales agents products and much more so thus a data cube can help to establish trends and analyze some performance so we are including OLAP also that is uh, online analytical processing uh, actually multidimensional data cube most it include OLAP products are developed based on structure where the cube is patterned as a multidimensional array so we are just considering OLAP as a multidimensional array these multidimensional OLAP that is known as MOLAP products usually uh, offers improved performance when compared to other approaches mainly because they can be indexed directly into the structures of the data cube to gather subset of the data when the number of dimension is greater the data uh, the cubes becomes sparser that means that several cells uh, that represent particular attributes combination will not contain any aggregated data this is done boost the storage requirements which may reach undesirable levels at the time so it, uh, it is making the MOLAP solutions so this is the advance of MOLAP this is the advance of OLAP so we are just talking about MOLAP so this is the actual example of data cube for example a relational with the scheme sales and partner we are talking about sales department so sales department has some entities like part supplier customer and sale price 
it can be materialized into the set of eight views of shown in figure so we are uh, talking about this figure so actual representation of eight views of data queue for sales information and these are the actually variables so where PSC indicates a view consisting of aggregate function actually it calculates the function such as total sales PSC and computed by grouping these attributes parts supplier and customers so uh, P in this diagram P indicates a view composed of the corresponding aggregated function values calculated by grouping part alone so finally we can say a data cube as its name suggests is an extension of two dimensional data cube that is known as 2D dimension that is known as matrix in, in the form of row and columns whenever these are lots of complex data to be aggregated and there is a need to abstract the relevant or important data there comes into picture and the need for the data cube so if we talk about the types of data cube uh, there are uh, three types there are two types of data cube like multi-dimensional data cube that is known as MULAP and second is relational data cube that is ROLAP so this is the actual data cube representation in, in the form of product date and country I mentioned these th these three slides that is product name na uh, date sorry date and country so date is uh, mentioned from one quarter to fourth quarter and we are just adding all these quarters and countries like India Nepal China and some so we are uh, we are just understanding the basic concept of data cube into the multiple segments so data cube representation in 2d dimensional we will look at the all electronic sales data for items sold per quarterly so as we know that three dimensional cuboids let's suppose we would like to view the sales data with third dimension we are considering the electronic sales data into the 2d dimensional and 3d dimension and this is the grab tabulation data in 3d view of sales data we have we just mentioned the location from Chicago New York and Toronto these are the three countries and item will uh, item would be uh, like as we can say that uh, company phone number and entities and many there are many things so this is the uh, three dimensional cuboids uh, in multi-dimensional data cube we again mentioned location cities in Toronto New York Chicago actually this is the data cube representation from this table we elaborate the data uh, first we uh, describe uh, as a table and the second is that is in the form of 3d data cube again we elaborating the uh, New York data from uh, 2d dimensional 2d dimensional for two into four dimensional cuboids the lattice of cuboid from forms a data cube the figures actually show the lattice of uh, cuboids creating four dimensional data for the dimension times item location and supplier actually these are the dimension time supplier locations and uh, items so this is the four dimensional cuboids as we can see the location item time supplier location and other things and they are connected to each other from zero t zero dimensional cuboids one dimensional cuboids 2d cuboids 3d cuboids and 4d cuboids so we have some advantages of data cube like it increases the productivity of an enterprise it improves the overall performance and efficiency it rep uh, its representation of huge and complex data set and get simplified and streamlined it huge uh, huge database and complex sql queries are also manageable we can do it indexing and ordering provides the best set of data for analysis and data mining techniques so we have many more advantages of uh, data cubes and lastly we are just uh, we conclude our presentation in today's scenarios all big business uh, gains are trying their level best to strategic and get the business streamlined with certain data models and data cubes researchers are also trying to come up with most uh, diversified and enhanced business model to make the entire production and development of 
business organization so this these are this is my presentation if you like my presentation please share it and comment so thanks for watching